guys are fifth graders. It's Monday morning at Hector Cafarata Elementary School, and these young men is making the right choices. Are in the final weeks of a mission. You guys used to come a couple minutes late here and there. But not anymore. This group is called 12 Strong, with Dr. Marcus Jenkins and Jordan Gibbs helping to guide them from being on time, on time yeah, to being polite, yes, sir. to becoming leaders, not followers. I felt like there was a need because often at this level, there's no father figure in the home. So at this level, these kids need that. They need someone that's going to let them know that they care for them. This isn't just the adults caring for the 12th, 5th grade boys. It's also the students taking time for each other. So like my friend Caesar, he helps me a lot. Like if I'm sad, he'll like help me be happy. We hear and see this in the calm of the classroom. But when life gets a little trying, this is where these young men reach back to these lessons. The family, the bond, uh, learning how to be a leader, having people to talk to about how I'm feeling, and and just like just learning uh, more knowledge I can get from this group to impact my life. It makes my heart happy, Chris, to see that, to see these boys see me in the hallway, and we have a secret handshake that we have that all of them know about, and it's called Ubuntu. And Ubuntu means in African language, all for one and one for all. And they know that they come from a family of folks that really care about them. For this Monday, a test of sorts awaits downstairs. Hey, how you doing? All right. Lunchtime, an elementary school cafeteria can often turn into a concerto of chaos as the students work through their mini burgers and curly fries. Y'all moving around, right? Dr. Jenkins offers plenty of hellos and greetings while on occasion nudging the 12 strong students to keep engaging and keep serving. Jaden gave us one piece of advice that he's learned. They told me to be a leader instead of a follower and stay out of other people businesses because that would, that would get you in a lot of trouble. Yet the business for lunchtime is to make everyone feel welcome. Think back to school lunch for any of us. It wasn't always easy. As for the cleanup, that also becomes easier as a 12 strong crew handles that. As they'll push ahead to middle school next year. And we're going to still keep track of these kids and make sure that they're doing their part.